I uttered the three words utopia that have been repeating in my mind these days. He excitedly told me after hearing my answer, very interesting. I pointed to the men and women on the beach and said, have you heard of rustic luxury? People who are tired of urban life always want to seek a life back to nature. But when they are really outside the city, they start to miss the daily luxury city standards, so the concept of rustic luxury came into being. Enjoy the most high-end services and the most luxurious facilities in the wilderness, so that the wild nature and the luxurious creature comfort can be perfectly combined. Little do you know that this ultimate pursuit and comparison of material standards can not only bring the limited and short-lived superficial happiness will also cause serious pollution to the environment. There are no five-star hotels here, no luxurious creature comfort, but it attracts young people from all over the world to gather here, pursuing spiritual enjoyment and mental freedom and learn to enjoy life, here, you will easily enter into relaxation and concentration like diving or meditation. A state of harmony that is both joyful and peaceful. There is that sense of immensity that is one with all things. This is the real wild luxury. It's so rare that it makes me feel like everything is unreal, rustic luxury. At this time, the setting sun was full of amber light. Poured on people's faces. Add a layer of dreamy hazy mood to the beach. Eslam's somewhat surprised and half understood eyes, I continued. Dahab is utopia to me, a miraculous existence. He is at the intersection of all concepts. You couldn't find a second place otherworldly in its utter remoteness on earth. You can find small towns where young people hang out in other parts of the world, but none is on such a sacred, ancient land. The history of the Sinai Peninsula is full of legends and miracles. Created during the civilization of the Mesopotamia, it was recorded in Gilgamesh, the world's oldest heroic epic. The demigod Gilgamesh came to the Sinai Peninsula to ask God to grant him eternal life. Ancient Egyptian inscriptions record that the pharaohs came here to worship the goddess Hathor. The Old Testament records that Moses received God's Ten Commandments here. So the ambience here is unique. Eslam nodded and said, it seems like it is. I continued, you can find a lot of escapes on earth, but none have such perfect location as Dahab does. Eslam asked puzzled, why didn't I think so? He's not guarding international airports like Sharm El Sheikh and Cairo, what do you mean by perfect? I started to explain to it, a place of escape is a place to escape from reality and be isolated from the world. They all have the following characteristics, geographically far away from the bustling metropolis, difficult to reach, sparsely populated, and a bitter cold place with poor climatic conditions, such as the Tibetan Plateau or the Patagonia at the southernmost tip of the earth. The people who live there are in a state of isolation. In the eyes of outsiders, they enjoy a peaceful and contented life, however, it is unknown whether this kind of retreat, which realizes the practice of spiritual world by wearing the body, will change once it is fully in contact with the outside world. To sum it up in one sentence, if you want to enjoy the spiritual pleasures of escapism, you usually have to suffer physically.